If you're looking to catch a flight out of Manhattan, you're faced with a bit of an impossible decision. None of the three airports are exactly great, and getting to them can be a challenge. Increasingly, people are turning to ride-sharing apps like Uber and hoping that the traffic rolls their way. But now, there's another option. Uber is launching Uber Copter in New York, and while it's been available for a few months to Diamond and Platinum members, now it's available to anybody, and we are going to take it for a ride. Here you're presented with your typical option of UberX or Pool. If I want to do UberX, we're looking at $58.20. But if I scroll down, here we have UberCopter. Here, a little bit more expensive at $195, but the flight takes just eight minutes. From here, it's just a matter of choosing the copter, and away you go. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to the heliport. Now, what's really interesting about this trip is, of course, that we're going to go fly in a helicopter, but making it even more interesting is that this is a multimodal journey, and we've booked it all through the Uber app. From our pickup over on Bowery, we've got the car ride now to the heliport, and then our car ride from the heliport to the airport, all booked in one stop, all in the app, all with one press of a button. Thank you again. Have a good afternoon. So it's a little bit louder than the newer X, a little bit more crammed, but the is certainly a lot nicer. So from New York City, the ride is just eight minutes, which is a heck of a lot shorter than your average trip from JFK to downtown. It doesn't matter what time of day, no worries about rush hour. We great view of Governor's Island off my right, and then to my left, Wall Street. That was it. We're at JFK Airport. It took a little less than eight minutes. And that was actually fun. When's the last time you had fun in an Uber ride to the airport? Never for me. Taxi to the airport. Taxiways right here. Get out and take the final step. And we've made it. We're at the amazing TWA Hotel. And what else was amazing was that trip. I have never had an easier trip getting to or from any of the New York City airports. Absolutely seamless from start to finish. It took only about a half an hour, which is certainly a lot better than you're gonna do if you're stuck in traffic. The cost, okay, is a bit expensive at $199, but if you're stuck in prime rates on Uber during rush hour, you could spend upwards of $150, and trust me, I would much rather spend the extra 50 to do it in eight minutes. What else do you need to know? Well, the baggage restrictions are a little bit severe. If you've got anything more than a carry-on, you might be in trouble. So if you're going on a three-week European expedition, maybe stick with a taxi or a regular Uber. Also, the weight restrictions on baggage is pretty severe, and the app only works on iOS right now. So if you're an Android user like me, you're gonna have to borrow an iPhone just like I did. The most important thing though is that this is just the first step. Ubercopter will get you from downtown to JFK, but that's it. The next generation though, coming sometime around 2023, will be Uber Elevate. They were talking about a next generation vertical takeoff aircraft that will be much quieter and much cheaper. They say they could get costs down to as low as comparable to an Uber Black, which is pretty good indeed. But for now, I absolutely give Ubercopter five stars.